hello. So, so today is going to be my review for Brandon Sanderson's The Dark One. <laughs> so, this is, I think, yeah, it's his first novel in the, not novel, the graphic novel. In his series of graphic novels, uh, it's written, the story was written by him, but the writing, the pictures, and, like, the, the lettering, and were all done by other people. So, it was created by Brandon Sanderson, written by Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly, drawn by Nathan Gooden, colored by Kurt Michael Russell, and lettered by Art World Design. So I just wanted to give credit to all those people. It's not just Brandon Sanderson's work, because so like I forgot to do that. I've only this is my second review for a graphic novel. I'm still not that good at it, but this is Brandon Sanderson's graphic novel. And at one point I was reading uh, three three Brandon, Brandon Sanderson's at once. I'm reading Warbreaker, and I kind of pick up and put down uh, launchers every, every once in a while. And I was reading The Dark One, and I read The Dark One in about an afternoon, which was it was really good. I initially gave it a 5-star, but after some contemplation, I gave it a 4-star. It was really, really good, actually. I really think that Brandon Sanderson has some really, really, really strong uh, elements in this story, and it only has um, um, done to get better. He only has um, kind of potential to get better right now, so... <clears throat> That's fun. As you can see, I got the Barnes & Noble edition. I got my Brandon Sanderson swag over there. I got the Roshar map right behind there. So, I'm a Brandon Sanderson geek, but what can I say? So, so the dark one, I really, really loved it. It was extremely good in what it did. I mean, because this is not high fantasy. It looks like high fantasy from the cover. I asked if it was in the Cosmere, but it's not in the Cosmere. But... It was really good, and if you didn't know, it's about a boy named Paul, not Paul Atreides, <coughs> who, um, who's basically, he's prophesied to be this other, he's prophesied to be, a, like, a dark one. He lives on Earth, he, that's one of the cool things, and then, but he kind of gets dragged to this fantasy world, and this fantasy world, I think it was kind of, honestly, I think the storyline was really, really sharp. And then, like, what, because he was doing, like, kind of a half and half, half, like, it's half high fantasy and half low fantasy, because he's kind of, like, doing, he's getting, like, pulled into another world, kind of like a Narnia thing, he's, like, pulled into this other world, and the world building, I didn't find it as good as his other works, maybe because it's not, like, in the, like, Cosmere, it's, like, this is not a world building for the Cosmere, the Cosmere, but... I found the world building to be kind of bland in this story. That's the one major criticism I have for this story because, other than like, because this is the Paul is a very very strong character, like, and his sister is very very like that, that, and then the. It, it was one of those stories where at the start it had this something and it had, kind of like, it had like someone talking to someone and there's this. Is, two weeks late two weeks earlier or a couple weeks earlier and then you can kind of finally see it the the, the start the like scene at the beginning of the book kind of connect to the scene at the end of the book that, that was like i did not see that coming i did not see paul's character change that much in the story i'm not going to go into full spoilers but i'm not going to because there's it's hard to not spoil this but it, um paul's a very different person from the start to the finish and I did not see it coming, and not that kind of, like, like, it leaves me wanting a sequel, so that's really, really good for it, and yes, it was a very, very good graphic novel, and I will definitely pick up the sequel, so, but, like, <clears throat> it, like, just the world building was, that was weak, but, like, it kind of, like, it shows that Brandon Sanderson is not just a great fantasy author, he's a genius, he can do anything. He, he's really, really good at epic fantasy. Like, that's, that's his... That's his strongest suit. But but he can also do YA fantasy. He can do YA sci-fi. He can do, like, graphic novel. He can write He can write a great graphic novel. And he can, um... Write... This is, like, a lower fantasy. Because it's, like... It's, a, the Nar it's like a Narnia. Because it's, like... They're pulled into this world totally different from their own. And... It's really cool to see this, like this shift in tone because he's not supposed to be the good guy like everyone like most stories are he's supposed to be the bad guy which is different that the different 
plot and story than what what you used to because like oh yeah you're probably to save the world like real time but this is like the opposite of real time which is ironic because the dark one is a villain in the real time so this it, i was very, i thought this was uh like a real time spin off like originally because brandon sanderson wrote finish real time and um the dark one is the dark one is kind of um the bad guy in the real time so originally when i saw this uh I think on Goodreads, I was like, oh, this is a Wheel of Time spinoff or prequel. But no, it's not totally different. It's not even in the Cosmere. So I'm really, really excited for his sequels. And yes, this is was a great, great, great novel. And yes, I do have some criticisms. That, uh, while, while Paul and his sister was a very strong connection, and you can see it here. The, his mom doing the court case while it was happening wasn't as strong. And I was like, oh. And until the end where these two storylines kind of converge and you're like, whoa. I was like, I was kind of bored because, like, I'm, I'm not a big court thriller guy. <laughs> well, you know. And um, it's funny because it, a lot of it, it kind of focuses on how different the two worlds are. His, <coughs> excuse me. His worlds and his world and and their world. It can kind of, kind of funny because he meets this girl from from their world and then she's so like fascinated on it like what things think they they do and she's like definitely not she's definitely not from our world and it's crazy to see all the differences like and Brandon Sanderson really really puts it thoroughly in here as for the art I'm I'm not again I'm not good at reading um reviewing graphic novels this is the second not graphic novel I've reviewed on the channel still not a lot but I think this is my favorite art piece of the... So it's basically a prophesized battle of the Dark One and then, like, their, like, um, person who's supposed to save them. And then Paul is supposed to be the Dark One. And I'm not going to spoil anything, but you can tell what happens by the end of the book. And, and whatever happened, I did not expect it. It's not a predictable story. And, yes, um, I know this released about a year ago. But, like, they had the wide stream released the other day. And I picked it up yesterday, and I finished it. So this was a great, great, great book. So, not... this I keep saying book. It's a graphic novel. I'm not... I'm, again, I'm terrible at reviewing graphic novels. Hopefully I got better. So, yeah. I give it a four. So that that's what I give it to you. So, I love Brandon Sanderson's work. And he... It did show a lot. A lot in here, so... Yeah, now I'm trying to read all of Brandon's Sanderson's work, obviously, but see you in the next video.